Hi guys, just a quick video showing the temperature in the engine bay um, with that a turbo blanket from Forge Motorsport that we're going to fit to this. This is just coming after a daily commute um, and it's just been on in for a minute. Intake temperatures are about 35 degrees with 12 degrees ambient air temperature. Um, so let's lift the bonnet and check the temperatures at three points that we're going to measure after the turbo blanket on the same commute as well. Um, so the first point is up here. We've marked it off. So we've got a range of about 70 degrees. We've got another point here on the intake at about 37 degrees. And lastly, over here, about 45 degrees. So we're going to run the in turbo uh, blanket from Forge Motorsport on this vehicle um, and do the same commute and bring it back in and check the temperatures at them three points. Then three points have been allocated to one because of the, the concern of this um, Lambda harness for the JV4, um, and two because we want to test a few intakes as well um, with this car so carbon fiber intakes aluminium intakes um, plastic intakes um, from all the brands to be fair at the moment it's running the pipe across um, we've just got aluminium intake chunk um, with a foam filter and it seems to be providing good airflow sufficient airflow for running what we're running on this vehicle obviously it's running a jb4 stacked on our stage 2 plus with a from my intercooler so um, catch you soon Hi guys, so this is the turbo blanket from Forge Motorsport that we fitted to our set Leon Cooper 280. It is the same turbine engine that's fitted to the Golf on the S3, so all the information that you see here can be transferred over. Um, we did the same commute in the same ambient air temperatures, 12 degrees today. Um, same commute, same route, same sort of traffic conditions, and we've left the car idling for about a minute, um, and we're going to test the same three points that we tested yesterday. So that's the turbo blanket fitted. Um, we've fitted the original heat shield over the top as well. Um, and we'll just measure the points as to what we've measured yesterday. I mean, the ambient and the air temperatures are still the same at 12 degrees as yesterday. And intake air temperatures has dropped. And that's with the bonnet closed and sitting at the same kind of time at the same idle speed as well. Um, and it's dropped about six, seven uh, degrees Celsius. So we'll just check the three points that we checked yesterday. Um, the first one being the intake trunk itself, as you can see on camera. So the intake trunk has dropped to about 30 degrees, so about 6 or 7 degrees less than um, without the turbo blanket. And the cam cover has dropped down to 33 degrees and the rear heat shield has dropped down to about 50 degrees. So on the back we're saving about 20 degrees um, in heat. On the cam cover about 10 and the intake about 10 which relates to about an average 10 to 15 degrees engine bay temperature reduction which is pretty good um, when it comes to quarter mile times and driving on the track um, and you can probably see from my earlier video as well i mean the temperature that's coming off the turbo blanket is about about 75 to 80 degrees so if you've seen on the earlier video it's about 200 degrees on the casting so obviously we've reduced the temperatures in the engine bay by fitting this turbo blanket um, so you can see there the downpipe still as hot because it is still open we may wrap that or we may get it coated um, still some more testing to do to this obviously we're trying to achieve the, the quickest quarter mile time on the stock IS38 turbo so keep in touch I mean like comment and subscribe below obviously the product that we're testing today is available from us so check out the web shop at nbmotorsport.com forward slash shop also alternatively catch us on 0121 448 7515 you can email us as well at sales at nbmotorsport.com and follow us on Instagram Facebook Twitter the usual at nbmotorsport um, so hope that's been beneficial to you guys we'll catch you soon